The question is, why am I still here? Why am I still here today? Why am I still here? Why am I still here? We want to revive the culture and the language. Resilient and strong in the face of terror, loving and laughing through hardships, we will win the war against genocide. We follow the, the rituals that were taught to us by our grandparents. In the Nicola Valley, the songs are still there, the dances are still there, and our land is still there. So we're so connected to the earth, the mountains, the streams, the water, the cedar. The cedar has something very valuable in my life for the West Coast people, especially where I live. The trees, the cedar, help my spirit. If you go into the mountains, you can hear the drums. They're very strong. If you go to the cedar trees, the water, you can hear your ancestors talking to you. I have my language, I have my culture, I have my family. To this day, and every day, my language and my culture, my rituals, my family values, the rituals that I believe in, that, I, that leads me through my paths, keeps me very strong. My late father has a lot to do with my life. He taught me many things. He told me that, that I would use the words. He used the words to me was Guam Kwam Shkwalawan. My children are precious gifts from the Creator, and I'm really glad and honored and happy that the Creator blessed me with my children. My children are very important to me, and I will do what I can, and I'll do whatever it takes to keep my children happy and to give them a healthy life. Our language and our culture is becoming lost because there is no one to teach us and show us how we became. I'm speaking for those who not, cannot speak for themselves. I'm here for the Chalcotans. I know that I am here thanks to the strength of my family, my elders, my people. I know who my family is. I know where I come from. I have a lot of influence from my family. And I'm really glad for my father because he taught me the gift of happiness. Laughter is one of the best things that we have in the Nicola Valley. There were some beautiful words he told us in the language. It was, Guam Guam Shkwalawan, Guam Guam Shkwalawan. What that means is that we be strong, body, mind, and spirit. At first, I wanted to write a poem, something deep and profound that would attempt to articulate the pride I feel in being a Native American woman. How could I convey the true happiness in my heart with just a few simple words? Guam Guam Shkwalawan, Guam Guam Shkwalawan. I have them to thank for. The elders who live in my community also give me strength and wisdom. Um, the language and culture is coming back and it's coming back strong. I'm really glad for that and I'm really glad for my elders. I will learn my language. I will learn my culture. And then, when I can, I will teach. We learn the basics of how to say it and spell it and pronounce it in ways. Um, Nanozine, Abananas, Itli, Nakai, Te, D, Skala. Sit, it's a Joanna and Rodney's Biscay. Guam Guam Shkwalawan, Guam Guam Shkwalawan. Keep your mind strong, keep your spirit strong. I am here because I am a First Nations woman. And I give thanks and I say I lift my hands to my ancestors. They keep me strong. I remember their wisdom, their knowledge, what they have taught taught me through all the lineages. What I know, I will teach my children, and my children's children will teach them, and it will carry on forever and ever and ever. That's why I'm still here. <laughs>